Hello. Today is Thursday, July the 12th. No, June the 12th. I gotta pay my PayPal bill. Um, so, there's not much going on today. We had a very easy day yesterday because, let me take my sunglasses off. Miss Blondie had gotten shots the, um, on Tuesday. She had to get four because they weren't kept up. So we had to get four shots, two in each leg, and we went to the zoo after that, and that was fine. Um, but she would not take a nap when we got back, and you know, I, she had to have been tired. And then when it came time for to go to bed, she would not go to bed. Finally, I had to lay down in the floor and just let her talk because my husband has to go to work, in the, you know, the next morning. So I didn't want. I didn't want to keep him up, so I just laid down in her floor and let her talk to me, and then eventually I rolled over and acted like I was going to sleep, and she just kept, you know, doing baby babble, and finally she decided she is tired, and she laid down, and as I thought she was going to sleep, I kind of crawled out, and everything was fine. Here comes my cat. I guess you want to know what she was missing out on, because she goes in there and meow, 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 real loud. I could have just, oh, I, you know, I don't abuse my animal, but at that moment, I wanted to just wring her meow meow neck, but um, anyway, she, she kind of whimpered a little bit, and then she went back to, then she went to sleep, and she slept through the night, so that was amazing. Wow. Yeah, you did. She slept through the night, and that was amazing, and we paid for it the next morning. She got up, and her mattress was soaked. Mm -hmm. So, if anybody has any idea of what kind of diapers I should use, we've tried Huggies. We've tried going up another size. We're doing the, I think we tried Huggies overnights. We um, are using Loves, and they're working the best, as long as I get to change her at least once at night. So, that brings us to last, yesterday. Yesterday, all day, she slept so good. I mean, she was so good. She went and took her nap. She, um got a lot of rest we we actually slept late because the night before we didn't sleep no the night before we didn't go to bed till late but she slept through the night and then so then yesterday she um you know it was a great day we stayed at home just relaxed had a good time yeah we did didn't we and got some good news well potentially good news from her casa and um and I'm not going to I'm not going to share that just yet but um, well, good news for us, and then we learned some disturbing news, and, um, I just, I feel confident today because, of, because of the good news that we heard. It's usually when I, because she's a wonderful lady, she really is, and she's so involved, but when she tells me information, it's always like, oh, geez, you know, it's one less thing one less chance, you know, or whatever for us to, or to stay with us. But yesterday we got some news that made me feel confident. So, um, last night she, she took her naps real good yesterday, like I said, and then last night she went to bed and she got up one time and she probably would have slept through that one time if I'd have just patted her on the back, but I wanted to change her. So I got her up, I changed her and, um, she played for just a little bit and then we went, she went straight back to bed at first she cried and then you know I got her I got her settled and and she went to sleep and then slept till this morning and um and then this morning she got up around I guess around six and she had a bottle and then she went back to bed for a while so then she got up and now we're out and going to have lunch with my sister. We've had a great week except yesterday we stayed home but a great week Monday and Tuesday we went to the aquarium and then the zoo, and um, I'm probably going to put all that footage, the footage from the zoo and um, today together because it, yes, uh, the zoo day was a short one. Um, anyway, my sister said she was almost here. I just saw her text come through, so I'm going to go ahead and close this out. And, <laughs> and someone's getting hungry back there. It's it's lunchtime, isn't it? Man, she ate this morning. She ate eggs like a champ this morning. She didn't want her cereal, but she ate her eggs really well. Okay, we're going. I'll catch up with you later. Okay, so we're enjoying this nice, cool summer evening weather. We just went to Aldi, and um, we parked way out in the parking lot. 
because in the same little shopping center, there's a CVS and a bank and some other things that we needed to go to. So we just got in the stroller and, and are having a nice walk. So now we're going to go to CVS and see what kind of drugstore makeup we can find and load my green dot card so I can pay my PayPal, my bill me now um, payment. I don't know. Does, does anybody know if bill me the bill me now? Make sure I lock my car. The bill. Oh, excuse me. The bill me now um, program or whatever it's called. Does that help your credit score, or does that have anything to do with that? Because I mean, you are paying. You are making payments on there. I just wondered because um, I haven't really, well, since I've been married, especially had any any activity on my credit report because my husband takes care of all that and it's I don't think any of it's um, combined or whatever I don't know but anyway I was just wondering about that so we're going into CVS and we're going to do some shopping I didn't bring any of my coupons though so I don't know if I'm gonna buy anything but if it's a great deal I might <laughs> I don't know if there's any major coupons out for makeup anyway so there's one Alme one for four dollars but other than that I don't know Okay, so we'll catch up with you in a little bit. So I'm curious if anybody has ever tried one of these microfiber bristle absorbent, oh, absorbent microfiber bristle hairbrushes. It looks like it has a little towel inside it. I've been seeing them. They're around $12.99. I've been seeing them at Walmart and all the places. And I'm wondering how good they are. So it takes forever for my hair to dry out. Okay, excuse this right here. It should go off momentarily. I don't know how to make it go off. So we just got done with our little walk. There we go. <laughs> you can barely see me. We just got done with our little walk. And um, I don't, as long as the weather's like this, I think it would be okay for us to walk when the sun, well, I just get, you know, we live in a, a nice neighborhood. I mean, we live in a very nice suburb of Dallas but you know bad things can happen in the bad neighborhoods and the good neighborhoods you never know so I get a little scared of being out at night by myself um especially walking like in my car no but walking I do I just you know I get a little freaked out um speaking of that I'm gonna lock my door Where, where's the lock okay so anyway um I was thinking that it would be nice to go for a walk and and, um, but maybe we could do it in the mornings, like right after my husband leaves for work. It's still cool, so we could do it then. Because she gets up anyway for a bottle. She just usually always wants to go back down, um, you know, for an hour or so. He leaves, he leaves pretty early. Anyway, I'm starting to ramble. I went into CVS, and I wasn't too impressed with the makeup selection. I, I remember whenever I was doing couponing, I would just buy makeup just to buy it. I mean, if I saw something I wanted to use, if I had a coupon, I'd get good deals on it too, you know, after your extra care bucks or gas card or gift cards, whatever they were doing at the time. And now I know though, because I went crazy on the gas card deals a couple of years ago. I didn't, I never used any of those gas cards. My whole thing was, was I was going to save these gas cards for vacation. Well, the gas stations around here, the ones they give us the cards for at CVS, um, they're very expensive, so you're not going to get much gas for $10. So I ended up getting, when my niece um, got her car, her first car, I ended up giving her a bunch of gas cards as part of her birthday present. Um, she didn't really save me any money because I still bought her, you know, other things as well. Um, she's making some funny noises back there. So we had a good time, though, walking around. She enjoyed the, um, the ride, and... She, I enjoyed being out with, I like being out with my baby. She's a, such a good shopper. But we went to the bank. We went and reloaded my um, green dot. I think it's called a green dot card. So I could load it onto my PayPal and pay my PayPal. My husband doesn't want me using my savings account for that. Or my checking account, whatever. My bank account for that. So um, when we went to Audi, we got ton. I didn't even know what I needed in Audi. And going in there without a list is is um, sometimes it's okay as you run in and get one thing. But today I, I hadn't had dinner yet, and I'm not hungry. But I was just looking for something for dinner. 
and I don't like their meats too much, and um, but their vegetables look really good for a change today. So I went ahead and I picked up some zucchini. I picked up some um, cucumbers and some jalapenos. I'm going to do, you know, the chicken that I did last week. Um, I'm going to do the pepper that you put inside. I'm going to wrap that in bacon and cook it for the low carb. And I got some cheeses. Oh, and speaking of low carb, I'm a little... Maybe I, I don't know. I... It takes so much for me to lose. Uh-oh, what's the matter? Let me turn on the car. We getting hot now? We're in the car. It takes so much for me to lose weight, even when I'm doing my metformin and all of that stuff. I just have to watch my carbs and still count calories and fat. And then when I lose weight and I go, I go off of that, I gain it back so fast. And I know that, you know, part of that is yo-yo dieting my whole life and part of it is you know the effects of PCOS um, which is polycystic ovarian syndrome I think I've got every symptom that comes along with that and it's just so irritating but whatever and the metformin doesn't seem to help me much but I'm gonna take it because I keep thinking one of these days it's gonna it's gonna work <laughs> but um, it's, you know, insurance pays for it. it's not like it's costed me anything to do it and there's really well there's the, the um, stomach side effects but I, I had it was weird because I got that at around the first of the year after I'd been on it for quite a while so and then it, it, I'm not I'm not I don't have it now so that's weird <laughs> that I got it after being on it for like six months um, but anyway we're now heading home and I may show, I may do an Aldi haul to show what all I got. Because I was impressed with the, with the vegetables. Usually I just price match at Walmart. But, you know, even if you're the most discriminating shopper, the only place you shop at is Central Market or Trader Joe's. Well, actually, I think somebody told me that Aldi was, was from the same company who owns Trader Joe's. I don't know if that's true. But anyway, I mean, unless you're all organic. They have a few organic things. But, I mean... And, if you're just look, I don't know. If you're just thinking the Audi's just for like poor people, try it out because they have some good stuff. Their cheese tastes just like any cheese from um, any Tom Thumb or well, our, it's Safeway, Tom Thumb, Randalls. That's all the same thing, but it tastes you know it tastes the same as like if you're getting it from one of the major food um, grocery store chains. Um, I like it because it's by CVS and I can go to both places at the same time. So, anyway, I think something's beeping. Okay, I'll catch up with you later.